okay, everybody, sorry for this problem. It's the first time that we ever had that. Um, I'm not sure why, but um, I hope you can see me now and um, we can start. Okay, first we do a warm up. Just um, circle your ankles around the sole of the foot, the toes. Try to make a nice circle. And when you find that there's edges, then you just go a little slower than the other direction. There's always one direction that goes better than the other. Okay, and the other side. And the other direction. So then feet together, knees together, and circle your knees in as wide a circle as you can. And feel how the weight shifts on your feet, on your soles of the feet from the ball of the foot to the heels and back. Other direction. Also feel how um, turning your knees also activates your hip joints as well as your ankles. All right, then bend and stretch your knees and try to sit on your feet for a moment. Then feet a little wider apart and circle your pelvis. Really go as large as you can. Open your chest when you go forward and really go to the heels of your feet with your butt when you go backwards. Somebody's coming in and out. I don't know if it's still working. I'll just keep going. I can see you now, right? Okay. Thank you. Switch the direction if you haven't. Yes. And also here, as you can feel how it activates your ankles, your knees, and also your head and neck when you turn in your hips. All right, then stand and now turn the pelvis to the left and right. Yeah, let your eyes not focus anything. Your, your, let the light fall into your eyes to give your eyes a break from staring at things. You don't have to see anything at this point. You just concentrate on the feeling of your body. Then bring the hip forward a little bit more. Let it swing. Okay. And shoulders, the, the thumb goes up, arm turns, and then the little finger goes first. Turns. Always on the top it turns. And you bring your shoulder blade back to the spine so that the arm has as much room as it possible. Other direction. Hmm. I'm getting some kind of information that I can't read without glasses. 
I hope you're still there. Try the other arm. I'm reading what this is. Oh my god, that's stupid. Sorry. Just keep turning your arm. Oh my god, what's it doing? There. Sorry, that was my... That might have been the problem. There was some kind of antivirus thing. <laughs> Not Corona. I didn't turn that on, I turned it itself on, I guess. Okay, so arms, now the head, you circle around with your nose, make, you draw circles with your nose. Both directions. And imagine that the head sits on the spine, on the place between your ears. It's not here where the jaw is, it's up here where the ears are. So when your head goes to one direction, your chin it always turns around the nose. Okay, great. So for the ones who are here the first time, um, it's the eight brocades is um, a form with eight different movements. Each movement is done um, two times eight breaths. And the first and the last are um, like centered movements, and the others always have a step to the left. Then we do the movement, and then we come back to the middle, and we go to the other side, and we do the same movement each time eight breaths. And I'll show it in a way that you will th um, see me as your mirror reflection. So if I say it, step to the left, I personally step to my own right, but it's your left. So you just always go in the same direction as I do. And there's two different kinds of steps, or you can, yeah, foot, foot movements. And it's um, lifting up the, the small step, I call it the small step, is you lift up your foot so that the toe leaves the ground last and then you put it about hip wide and then you set your foot with your toes first and you put the weight between your legs then there's the whole movement and you come back and bring the feet together which is always like the neutral central position and then to the other side and I will, you will always see that it's a very slow process. And it is it's connected with an inhale. And then the weight shift happens in the exhale. Okay. There is another step that is a little wider, a wider stance. You go a little lower with your knees and you set your foot again as far as you can go and you bring your weight between the legs. Then you are a little bent because you're sitting, more like a sitting movement. It feels like a vault coming from your pelvis. You tuck your pelvis in so that you can sit on your bones in a way. And it's the same breathing pattern, it's like breathing in, breathing out, inhale, and exhale. And you, when you bring your foot back, it goes through the toe. And when you bring your foot out, it goes over the heel. So the central position is one of balancing yourself. So if you just stand with your feet fairly close together, feet. And you can take this moment to just feel like the small micro movements that you, the body does at all times to balance itself. It 
might feel a little bit like you're swaying, like you're a, a mast on a ship. And the idea is now to find the tension in your um, joints, in your ankles, your knees, your hips. And let it spread out a little bit more. Like you have your feet and they need, don't need to hold the ground, they can just be on the ground. And your, the soles of your feet can just melt and soften. And then you can soften your ankles and let that softness just kind of come up the body in your knees and your hip joints and just the idea that it all gets a little bit more space and softness yeah, your shoulders are carried, they're kind of the weight of the shoulders just falls into the pelvis so the pelvis is there to balance the shoulders and then shoulders are in relationship to where the head is on the spine and so you kind of realize how the whole chain of joints is there to balance the head and as you allow those little micro movements to become a little more um, known and felt you can f allow your weight to fall through the body rather than holding it up Yeah, and I don't know if you can feel that that actually is a really big relief for the body to just allow it to be carried instead of held. And how the mind calms in the nervous system when you don't use as much muscle energy. And uh, that's kind of the state of origin for this form. It's like a moment of just being there, being carried by the ground, by the skeleton, not, no need to worry. Yeah, and the beginning of the form is just putting your hands on your center, that's a point about three inches below the navel, or three fingers below the navel, not inches. And that's where the chi resides, the chi just sit, is collected there and it's kind of, can you imagine, like a little ball of energy. And with each form we will then move the chi through the body and in the end of each form we bring it back to the center. And at the end of the form we kind of have this idea of standing like this again and bringing, imagining how the chi settles back down and is stored here. Okay, so the, the movements themselves are fairly easy to just move along with. There's one that is a little bit complicated and I'll just quickly explain the hands and then we'll move on because we're already pretty um, late today because of the technique. Um, so the, se the second movement is a um, is it's called the bow uh, shooting the bow, and um, it's always one hand is in front, the hand crossing, and the one in front makes a little like a claw, fingers. This is straight, but the fingers are pulled in, as if you were pulling this the string of a bow, and the other hand is like an L. And the hand with the L just moves to the side and it's almost like I'm aiming over this L. And the other just pulls the string back. And then that's the inhale and the exhale is coming back to neutral. And then the other hand goes to the front and we turn to the other side. And the one hand that does the L is always inside. So if you turn to the left, your left hand is inside and it turns outward. And then you turn to the right and so the right hand is inside Oops, and it turns outward. 
Okay, and always like that. The hand who goes outward is inside. Okay. All right. Um, I will probably you find these explanations to the forms and a little bit of um, demonstration on the videos in German, but um, you can still see the movements if you want to understand the detail a little bit more. And um, for now, we'll just do the form. I will announce a little bit what to do at the beginning of each form, and other than that, just follow along. Um, you'll learn through repetition. Qigong is basically an art of rep repeating things a lot of times. Okay, so we just come to our standing and find our balance. And we connect with our own energy, our chi. And then we come into our first movement. And it is a moving up the hands and bringing the fingers together, turning them and coming up, all on the inhale. And on the exhale, come back down. And at the same time, I'm showing this from the side. Your weight goes to the balls of the feet. Oops. And you just go on your toes. So, and then you go back. So each movement is like an inhale, lengthening of the body. And exhale, coming back to the normal position. Knees a little bent. Inhale, prolonging, prolonging, and then back. Those were four, now another four. Counting, we do another four. It's the end of the first form. Now we do a big step to the side, to the left. Left hand is on the inside and we shoot the bow. Here comes the inhale. And the exhale. Eyes guide the hand that aims. And the other hand, just the elbow pulls back.
back to the center. And the other side. The right side is inward first. Small step to the left, we hold our hands like we're holding a bowl, and the left hand goes up your center line with your small finger, and then both hands turn in different directions. This is all on the inhale, and then the exhale, the hands come back together in a bowl, and then the other side. Inhale, your fingers trace your center line, elbow turns out. Inhale and exhale. The knees are always a little bent and they lengthen when you inhale. And they go more into bending when you exhale. center and the other side and the right hand begins Third form, small step, fourth form, to the left. Now my eyes go looking over my left shoulder, the head follows, and the fingers turn so that the hands, the palms turn outward. All on the inhale and the exhale, we come back to the center and look forward. So look over your left shoulder, right shoulder, palms turn outward and back to the center. Inhale and exhale. And like, try to look as far as you can. But 
don't overstretch your neck. This has to be like an easy, light movement. Center. The other side. And look to the right first. Back to the center. Large step to the left. We put our hands on our thighs, close to the pelvis. When we breathe in, we move our elbow towards the knee. But it's really just bending our pelvis. I use like a cat. Um, but yeah, it was useful that you could Would you please switch off your from microphone if you can? Yeah. Excuse me, excuse me, you have your microphone on. Can you turn it off? Hello. Okay. I guess I have to. Um, okay, we'll just continue. Breathe in and your elbow goes to your knee. And breathe out, lifting the head back up and straight. Breathe in. Whoever just came in, could you please turn off your microphone? Okay, we come back to the middle. Large step to the right. Hand on your thighs. Breathe in. And breathe out. Her body basically stays straight, it just bends on the pelvis. Now you just follow along, small step to the left, inhale, exhale, put your hands on your kidneys, inhale, come back up, exhale, inhale, bend over and follow your legs to the feet, exhale, bend your legs into a squat, inhale, stretch your legs, and exhale, bring your pelvis underneath your body so that you can roll yourself back up into standing. Same now, again. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 
exhale. Inhale. Exhale into a squat. Inhale, just stretch your knees. And exhale, bring your pelvis underneath so that you can come back into standing. And the same to the other side. Inhale. Exhale. Now one more time, a big step, and we take our fist, we bring our fists to the pelvis, and we drill a hole in the air with our fist, and then when we exhale, we pull our fist back to our body. So palm up, here we turn the fist 180 degree, and we pull it back to ourselves. So this is the inhale. And the exhale. to the other side. to the center and for the last form you stay in the middle you breathe in and we just go up back up on our balls of our feet and we shake ourselves a little bit breathing out we come back to standing so inhale shaking and exhale and it's a gentle set shaking it's not like you want to exaggerate it
eight and another eight. Now you go back on your balls of your feet one more time. Breathe in, bring your chin to your chest, and when you exhale, you let yourself fall down on your feet. And bring the chi to collect in the center. Take this moment to feel how you feel, maybe a little heated. You can feel the little micro movements that you're doing and just the twirling of the chi in your body. Okay, that was.